What up, YouTube? Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on what's been going on. This truck has been sold. It's been sold actually for a couple of months now. Just that the owner is someone that we know, so uh, he hasn't picked it up yet. I was just going to sit here for a bit. We might keep uh, recording the process on this build, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, it's, an, it's unfortunate that we weren't able to finish it, but we got a lot of it done. Uh, well, ever since he's purchased the truck, we just did the bed liner. We were able to spray on the bed liner, but that's pretty much where we stopped. And as you guys know, we are waiting on some parts for the Camaro. So that's in the process of getting finished up. And the Jeep has just been sitting here for a while now. I just haven't had time to be working on this since we've been trying to finish that. But I'm getting the video done. I'm finishing up the engine bay. I've been sending all of it down. I just gotta finish this and work on this a bit and then spray it. I'm just gonna spray paint it. And we also picked up this new truck. It's a 93 Toyota. It has a fiberglass front and rear, as well as the hood. But this hood is pretty messed up already. This is cracked. That side is broken. It's sitting on 31s, 15 inch wheels. So it has pretty decent thread and it has a lift kit I don't know who made it I just don't like the front bumper might cut it off it has a dented door the painting all that And I'm using the screwdriver to hold the gas filler neck in because it doesn't even have the gas cap. I don't know what happened here. It seems like they were trying to make it work and they just tossed it in there. We're going to get this fixed. And then I'll show you guys in the engine bay real quick. All I've done to this is just sprayed it down with some degreaser and rinsed it. And... I ordered some parts to do a full tune-up. Someone forgot to bolt down the battery. This is a really small battery. I don't think it belongs here. And uh, what else? We're gonna do some long tube headers. Relocate the the intake to this side. Just clean it up a bit. The reason I'm gonna do the headers isn't really for performance. It's just because this has a leak already. And as you could tell, it's all rusted and stuff. So just want to make it look a little bit cleaner. We're also going to do an electric fan. And what else? Yeah, just pretty much clean this up. We're also going to replace this with the stock hood. We need door panels. And whoever had this truck before us, Decided to keep the stereo, but I guess it didn't care no more. So they just pulled this off They broke a bunch of clips and stuff And the steering wheel I don't know if you guys can see how much this wobbles They threw a screw in there a bolt that's not even down all the way And they I guess they lost those covers top and bottom piece Headliner is pretty good. This back window needs gaskets. We're gonna get those fixed in this little lock. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. It needs to get replaced. The seat it was redone, so it's still really good condition. Nothing back here. Thinking of relocating the battery to the passenger side back there. We're also gonna do bucket seats. So let me get underneath the truck. It has power bars by Sway A Way. More of the lift. 
dual shocks up front. And this is the exhaust, it's pretty rusty. I changed the catalytic converter. And they added this stupid muffler from Flowmaster. Which the truck is really loud. So I'm gonna get this removed. And the rear stock, they just replaced the shocks. And we're thinking of replacing the rear end. This truck is just going to be used to get us around and pick up parts and stuff like that. So it's going to be a really slow build. And that's basically it. We do want to get a camper shell for it and also the tailgate. And possibly bedline the, the bed. Hope you guys like the new pickup. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC Films. And we'll catch you in the next one.